All right, guys, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I haven't played this game in a year or almost a year. When it came out in February, I played it and uh, I haven't played it again ever since. We played my first playthrough as a Ravenclaw. Then we played a very short, quick playthrough as a Slytherin and now either a Gryffindor or Hufflepuff. I don't know which one yet. Let's read Hogwarts Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Les Eliza Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Nice. Gonna go with girl now, okay. Question is, which one do we take? She kind of cute. Love her hair. This one is the the base that everybody used, I think, in the first playthrough. Uh, maybe her. I like her. She's cute. And then we can do some. Oh wait, you can change the. Oh, you can change the face. Oh, I didn't know that. There was lots of updates after I played it, so there's lots of changes. This poll is over. We have a Hufflepuff. Woo, all right. So for the Hufflepuff, my idea was to do a very plant-focused playthrough. Eyebrow color. Can we change the shape of eyebrows? <gasps> because they're a bit too bushy for me. Well, that looks angry. She looks angry. Aw. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a serious case of resting bitch face. No eyebrows. Monobrow. Oh, yeah. She has a little bit of a cut in her eyebrow. Hee, hee, hee. Badass. Oh god, me and character creation. She looks like she's about to cry. <laughs> oh god, I kind of want to give her the purple eyes, but I think they're not standing out that much. So maybe we go with something bright green. Ooh, with a green? Can I change hair color? Wow, the red. Like tongs, just give her purple hair or something. Or green, like, like moss. <laughs> green hair, green eyes, <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm a sucker for natural hairstyles. I don't know. Maybe dark brown. I think that suits her. Or this. This is also good. Alrighty. That was quite something. Why is it so metallic? A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, name. Oh god, how do we name her? Shit, I'm, I, I forgot that we have to name our character. Uh, oh boy. Hufflepuff. Uh, Puffy? <laughs> a plant-based name. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hortensia. Uh, or hyacinth? I don't know how you spell it in, in English. And then... <laughs> I don't want to go with Sprout because Sprout is already the name of a teacher, at least in the, in the modern days. I don't I remember, is there Miss... Is there Professor Sprout in this? Garlic list. Oh, so, right! It's garlic! Garlic is the herbology teacher. I forgot. Alright, guys. I think we good, right? I want to play. Let's go to Hogwarts. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Oh, metallic well, voice. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me. Be oh, <laughs> Eliazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? 
We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful Yay. idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Pile of rocks, excuse me? How dare you speak about Hogwarts? I don't know if I can go into the menu and change the audio right now because it's quite loud. Hi guys, welcome in. I'm so happy. <laughs> your traveling companion a new student new yes sir i'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to hogwarts so late nor have i of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if i could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a <laughs> remarkably intuitive Stop and it. gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did- Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second.
Chug chug. Welcome in, guys. What happened? <sighs> George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir. <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Oh, we moving! Oh, look at us, guys. We moving. <sighs> okay, so we fixed the audio issues that we had. Let's continue. <laughs> Flashbang. Oh, so bright, so bright. Ooh. How far did that porky take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, nice. those ruins, do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Sure. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Let's explore. I want to explore too. How do you destroy these again? Mind your I forgot. Step. Can you actually fall down here? Could you just... No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> what does this do? Path to Hogwarts. Oh, okay. It's just giving you some information about the quest. Okay, cool. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. <laughs> the way he jumps down. Whee! Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. This way. <laughs> He's so cheerful, I like it. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. And how. How they wield it. Right? Ooh. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Ooh. Focus on the center. Boom! Ah, good to be back. Excellent. Use a camera to select an, an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting and settings. Oh yeah, you had to confirm. I have to get used to the controls again. Wee! Mass destruction of vases! I, so, I'm so sorry guys, but I still think that the audio is incredibly loud in this game right now. And I would rather understand what's going on. 69, maybe we... Maybe, maybe we... Oh. Maybe we gotta do that, guys. Maybe we have to set everything to 69. 
I wish there was like a general master audio, but well. Is this like a DLC? No, this is the main game. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah, up there. Okay. I know there's there's no point in destroying the things, but it's fun. Also, there's a chest here. Forty-seven. How do you call them in in English? Was it galleons? Yeah, galleons, right? We're close now. It's just ahead. Oh, this is so pretty. Steady yourself. Reparo. So cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So good. Almost there. Is there more loot? <laughs> what is this? <gasps> it's a little Niffler and a Mandrake plushie or something. Look at it. It's so cute. And another chest. Oh, it's like magic. <laughs> mm. Mass destruction. Bam, bam, bam. Can I run? Why would someone who built this? Place? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems. Out of place. Like us? Hmm. The mini map mini map shows your sur I can't talk. The mini map shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This is your current objective. Press up press and hold up to toggle quest objective details. Okay, thank you. I'm a bit rusty, I haven't streamed for two weeks. <laughs> Forgive. Forgive my uh, lack of English capabilities. I'm gonna look around and loot the things. I think this is where we go anyway, so um, maybe the statue? Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. <laughs> Who? Whose home? Of the wizard? I love how he's like, tell me if you find something, and I'm like, hey, the statue, and he just interrupts me. This is all <laughs> Mural? Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Okay. About this game, the holiday sales and currently playing as Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw was my first playthrough uh, when it came out, because that's the the house that I was sorted into. My very, very thorough playthrough is on YouTube. <laughs> that enchanted crystallized stone again, but oh. what could it be blocking? With a glow again. What's this? Professor Fig! Uh, green gods. Kind 
Come, Professor. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. Let's touch it. <laughs> what in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Oh, somebody's snoring, all right. Always looking for little loot chests. Loot goblin like. <laughs> Hello? Goblin banker snoring. <clears throat> <clears throat> Too subtle. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Thank you. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Hmm. Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. Would be funny if the goblin would just disappear now. This way, <laughs> then. Poof. Port heat away. Stay close. Ahem. <laughs> After you. I just recently played the Harry Potter PlayStation X games. And driving the cart in those games is just a nightmare. Hands inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. I don't have to steer, right? I don't remember. Do I have to steer? No. Okay. Hundreds. In fact. You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? <gasps> That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Wow. Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Ten hours later. <laughs> yeah, we're just starting. This is the uh, intro, basically. Vault number... Twelve. Vault twelve! Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. That fella is sus. Very sus. On the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. He 
here we are. Here we are indeed. When was the last time this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. No, there was a blue chest. Oh, no. Dang it. It was taking too long. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Can I, can I open the, can I open the loot first? Ha! Nice. Me? Loot addicted? Never. What are you talking about? No. Is there anything else here? <laughs> is this, is this a sequence of me being forced to walk instead of running? I feel so slow. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! That is quite the dick Best move. Of Best of luck! <laughs> Professor? Wow. That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? The super. Ready your wand and focus. Oh, I forgot how this worked. Ah! Woo! That was close. <laughs> I completely forgot how this worked. Revelio. Oh God! There, the ding. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. But what about the loot? There must be loot in here. Professor. What about the loot? <laughs> All right. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Okay. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? Rebellion. I do. But to what end, I can't say. Oh, dark. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. But, but, but... Aw, okay. Ah, now I can run. Okay, phew. But, sir, what about the loot? <laughs> I know there's loot here somewhere. I forgot where. But there's more of these. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Very peculiar. Lumos. Are you okay, what sir? What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That it's magic. Statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. <gasps> Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. From here. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yes, I should. Teach me. Oi! Nice. 
You've acquired the wand Lighting Charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Uh, Alright. Uh, how do I do that again? Hold RT and tap. Ah! Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh, bonk. Oi. <laughs> Look out! Potato! Accio! Dispetto! Let me also depose! Somebody want to attack me or no? Because I have to... Oh shit. Oh, they, they, they zoom all across the map to get you. I forgot about that. Stop destroying them! I have to... I have to do this. I'm staying close. No need to yell at me. <laughs> uh... Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? This isn't good. This where isn't good? supposed to go? But now I can look around for loot. <laughs> which What's is good. happening? Oh, oh, the darkness. The of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah, but what about the loot? There you go. See? I knew there was chests. I knew it! My loot radar was like ding 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 ding. Stay close! <laughs> I'm just looking for chests. I'm sorry. I have a problem. Oh, that's where they're leading me. Okay, Let okay. Glow again. Whoosh. I suppose I'm on my own this time. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Stupid one. Why are you attacking this one? Why during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack? Stunned enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Ooh. We kicking ass! Oh, hello. <laughs> That's a bit too close. suddenly dark again. Come on, give me a chest. Give me a chest. I need all the coin. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Lumos. I like the sound that it does when you're casting Lumos. It sounds exactly like in the movies. <laughs> so nostalgic.
Did I just hear Avada Kedavra? Oh. 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 The good thing is, I played it, but I don't remember it too much, so sometimes I'm like kind of surprised. I'm very happy about that. I was scared I remember everything. And I guess the major plot stuff I still remember, but small things, like for example how epic the start of the game was with the dragon attack, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> so I'm very happy to experience that again with a little bit of surprise. Okay, I'm pretty certain I have to attack with this, but I want to look around first. Can you destroy this? Or loot it? No? Okay, wh what is this? Hello! Are you there? Oh, okay. Professor Fig? Yeah. God was hot. I'm glad you're all right. I'm somehow back in the entry room to the vault. I don't see a way to open the door. There must be something. Revelio. I'll keep looking over here. Okay. I'm gonna interact with this. Okay, let's go. That's a fancy looking bottle. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. <laughs> For somebody who's new to this, just watching somebody dip their head into something like this must be weird. <laughs> is well hidden perhaps too well i wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow it will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as i can your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough percival we are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets with knowledge others will do anything to obtain yes and if we are correct charles the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Damn, Randall. those sprouts. <laughs> Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <clears throat> uh, sir, 
They had the key to the vault. <laughs> you did not. Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Squish. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. He's strongy. Run, 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 run. Let them deal with this. Oh, oh, oh. No way out. Speak up, love. <laughs> Professor Vic didn't hear ya. Oh, move it. That was close. That was very oh. close. so powerful a goblin he seemed wholly unaffected by my magic where are we <laughs> it can't be it seems those who set up the pensive the locket and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here the music oh my god <laughs> come we have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh my god. so nice there's no dlc no i'm playing this just because oh good we haven't missed the sorting ceremony good i haven't been sorted I'm yet i'm <laughs> no expert but that seems more appropriate thanks now i need to study this locket as soon as i can but first i must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to george and be warned of ranrock for the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Are we? It's gonna be weird, right? Like, we're, we're so grown and <laughs> all the first years, 10 and 11 years old. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Oh, he's not fond of him. Can tell Thick. already. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. Oh, no. Complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. 
<laughs> if you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. All right. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Okay. Wow. The floating candles and everything. Oh, I love it. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? No. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Both? <laughs> Both? I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Sorting ceremony. The sorting head will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Ravenclaw is where my heart belongs, but we've already done Ravenclaw, so Chad decided we're gonna do one of the houses that I haven't done, which is Hufflepuff. So I've done a very thorough playthrough of Ravenclaw. I've done a very fast playthrough, only main quest of Slytherin, um, both when the game initially came out. So these two are left, and this time we're gonna go with Hufflepuff. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Better be Hufflepuff! I'm a puff! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Boo! Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are Malaka. here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Be more direct, mate. <laughs> Something like go to bed. <laughs> Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Oh, she's so sweet. Liz, known for her patience. <laughs> it's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. Now. Here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. Ooh. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. What? What? <laughs> 
I wasn't prepared for that. What? Oh. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a oh. big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I hope so too. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I was scared for a second that I have to remember how to knock and which barrel to knock and I was like, what, what? <laughs> no, what? <laughs> oh my God, I love this view so much. This is so gorgeous. <gasps> how cozy, look at this, this is so cozy. <gasps> looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Welcome to Hogwarts Quest started. Oh, this is so cozy in here, I love it. Oh my God. I've never been in here. I've never seen the common room here. Oh yeah, you can just randomly eat shit. <laughs> um, num, 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 num. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> just eating the candy from my roommates <laughs> without asking. That is a trunk full of books. That shit's gotta be heavy as hell. So cozy. Mm -hmm. Looks like a hobbit room. Yeah, a bit, right? Because it's so... Because of the rounded areas. I know what you mean, yeah. Oh, it's so flowery. And then the of course, the round, the round door, right? <laughs> but I love it. <gasps> oh, this is gorgeous. God. Okay, this is amazing. This is so pretty. It's so green and it's- oh, it's so beautiful. I'm sorry, but I'm loving this so far. Can I walk everywhere? Oh. Oh my god. This is so cozy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's because I haven't seen this at all yet. And it is for me every every year around um, the Christmas season. I play Harry Potter on the PlayStation, which I've done. Um, they're on my YouTube channel, um, and I watch the movies and stuff. So I don't know, like the winter and fall season is just Harry Potter for me. And now I'm kind of amazed with this because I've never seen this before, and it's like oh, it's so cozy, warm feelings. And I love this design with all the plants and everything. It's so gorgeous. Of course, I have to go in all the rooms. We lost her. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Give me a minute. <laughs> also, there might be loot in here. Look at this. What is this? See, I'm just stealing fifty galleons from some random ass student. <laughs> hmm. Close. Thank you. Quidditch fans. Cool. Hufflepuff! <laughs> Cute. The way the door slammed shut. <laughs> Have I made my rounds now, or...? This looks very, very much like my room. But I don't know, I, honestly. Okay, I think I'm good. So, uh, how do I get down here? There. Stairs. Got it. I suppose some introductions are in order. The plant's just vibing. I love it. You don't Arthur's need to be frightened, you. little cat. Little cat? That cat is huge. Arthur Plumley. Wow. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Hi, Thank Arthur. you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. 
Shame. I think magical beasts are incredible. I tend to agree with your mother. No, we love we love magical beasts. So Hufflepuff, I'm going to focus a lot on magical beasts and plants. That's my plan, at least. We'll see how it goes. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. Nifflers. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first year's caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Good luck, Arthur. Have you ever had a pet? Didn't we just, like, talk about this? Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, <laughs> it went right back to the shop. <laughs> Ew, I mean, okay, I can understand that. <laughs> nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Mm. Whee! Oh gosh, the dancing plants everywhere! <laughs> Imagine you could just vibe with your plants like this. <laughs> like, everything is just dancing in here, I love it. How did I just break it by just walking up close? <laughs> Adelaide Oaks. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yes, I was. I'd rather not talk about it. Yes, I was. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Me too. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Nice meeting you. Is your uncle all right? Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Thanks. I think I remember there's gonna be a quest evolving around that uncle. Oh yeah, I'm just drinking this random tea. Somebody left behind. <gasps> Are these cake? Look at this massive piece of cake, though. Wow. I'll be I'll be done for a day eating such a big piece of cake. Wait, am I eating? Am I? Okay, it's just poof. Huffle poof. We. Oh, there, <gasps> there you are. Lenora Avalie. That owl is beautiful. Is that you, Hedwig? Oh, hello. Hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Sorry. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Under pressure. Dum -da 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 -da. Dum -dum -da -da -da. <laughs> I'm not worried. I do have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, true. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You have such a lot to do. Can I just walk away because nice to meet you would actually be not that true? Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, God working bragger. <laughs> we both work in ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Okay, so we already have the person that we are 
not gonna spend so much time with. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Adieu. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? <gasps> Poppy! Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Where? Where are you at? Poppy, my favorite. Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. <gasps> Poppy! She was my absolute favorite. She's so sweet. All right. Pre meet Professor Weasley outside the common room. Hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. We'll you do. only have one first day at Hogwarts. Amen. Now, yeah. in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. To my Especially best. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. <laughs> nice chunky bug. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh no, these are the pages that I have to find, right? <laughs> what is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I just put that in my armpit. Poof, gone. Thank you, <laughs> Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Revelio. Wasn't there? I could swear there was like a little trace of something going on there. Maybe I'm tripping. Anyways, okay. This way. Yes, ma'am. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Oh, there's a loot chest. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Revelia. Sorry, ma'am, but you know, it's also new and big and, and interesting. Oh, I can't see. Oh, oh, oh. Little snack. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. House Elf Recipe Book. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations, the book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like pickled dirigible plums. Dirigible plums, what is that? Are likely an acquired taste. What are dirigible plums? Do I want to know? I never heard that word dirigible, dirigible before. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress toward completing challenges appears here. Cool. Uh, where? But, but um, <laughs> field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points. Wow. Okay. It's been a year. I don't remember that much. I have to learn everything again. This is your wizarding level XP. Learn from challenges, increase your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenges, challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Continue. Aha, field guide pages, 1%. Oof. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Exploration, quest, combat, and room of acquirement. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. Each challenge has tiers. Special reward unlock at each tier you complete, from appearance to critical upgrades. Ooh, cool. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, I remember. Thank you. Clever, isn't it? Yes. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. 
inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. Hey, hey, I hear the bingity dink. Sounds like it's literally here. Maybe it's just above me. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys gonna hear a lot of this whoosh and thring. Just prepare. Prepare for it. Is that a Yona Yinto necklace? Looks good. Yeah, it is a Yona Yinto necklace and for Christmas I got a, a ring. A silver ring, which is very beautiful as well. Also from Yonna. My my Yonna Yinton collection is growing. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh, these things. I swear to God, it's literally above me. Oh yeah, it's above me. Okay, ah, I think. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You discovered a flu flames fast travel point. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Great Hall region here. Select the Great Hall region to continue. Uh, this is not the Great Hall. Uh, ah! In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames present, represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Grey flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. The right side of the map is... Uh, the right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouse. Select the library annex region here. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use rotate and fast travel to the central hall flu flames. Ah, we fast travel there now? Okay. I wanted to explore though. <laughs> nice. The flu lady, Liz's favorite. I might have to install that mod again. And here we are. Quite the time saver. That These stairs lead directly to central hall. You know the You can get almost anywhere in the castle. This one from Central Hall. This this lady Ignatia Wildsmith or something. She keeps talking when you get close to her and it it was annoying as hell, so I might have to Avelio. Might have to install the mod again, I don't remember. Oh my god, guys. What's going on with your skirt, ma'am? Professor? I think it's breezy down there, isn't it? <laughs> Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. It's beautiful. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Oh yeah, I did. Thank you, Professor. Can you tell me about, more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Charms. Exactly <laughs> what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. Terribly. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Okay. What exactly is defense against the dark arts? Like, these questions are so stupid, but I want to talk about everything, so... <laughs> Can you tell me more about the defense against the dark arts class? Defense against the dark arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. Obviously. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Sounds good. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. 
Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. No Judging time. by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I like her. Let's, let's say there is, in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has Oops. his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Yes. Speak, Speak of, of the, the devil. devil. <laughs> yes. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Thanks. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay, thanks. So, I think there's a there's a page. Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. So. In my first playthrough, I was like, I want to go everywhere. I want to look in every nook and cranny. I want to explore. I want to go everywhere. I want to do... I don't want to um, continue with the main story. I just wanted to look in every area. But now that I played it already, I know that it's actually not very helpful because you need lots of um, spells and stuff to actually get get to be able to get anywhere. So you're locked out of lots of content until you get to a certain point in the main story so we will focus on the main story for a bit until we get a little bit of knowledge in so we can actually do stuff <laughs> instead of running into things and then be like oh man dang it <laughs> you know all right professor fake talk to him let's go it's good to see you professor and you i was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Maybe. It was nothing, sir. I hope I didn't say too much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor <laughs> Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. You can track available quests from the map. Ah, oh, yeah, for the map you do it. I remember now. 
gosh yeah it's been it's been almost a year now at this point or like at least 10 months so uh i don't remember too much it's all a bit new kind of in a way uh this icon represents main quests completing main quests will further the story unlock new features and grant xp against defense against the dark arts class the field guide map shows professor hackett's class in the lower section of the astronomy wing i could get lost in the castle i may need to use the charm compass in the field guide to help me find the way ah yeah you get like a path to tell you where to go i forgot about that that's cool some quests are located locked sorry some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements in these cases you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments or as quest rewards. Okay, so charm class, defense against the dark arc class. So it wants me to go there. We track this now. Oh. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Yay! You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yes, sir. So now this guides me to where I need to go. Oh, nice. Uh, ah, okay. Ooh. Loving it. Rebellion. Absolutely loving it. Oh yeah, progress lock due to spells. I remember the slightly pissed off Liz not being able to reach loot because she missed a spell, yeah. Yep, yep. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and, and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadigan, this is most ass assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Don't talk to me, please. She's not saying anything. Most peculiar. Either she's not talking yet, or... Maybe they... Maybe they made her shut up or anything. That'd be great. <laughs> if they patched the game and they just made the, the, the flu lady shut her trap. <laughs> because she was hella annoying. Can you explain why I have received a letter from a muggle? Claiming to be the mother of a friend of yours, asking me to afternoon tea. <gasps> what did I tell you? Howler? Special nap. It's tormenting oh. Professor Black. <laughs> <gasps> Lovely. Rebellion. Oh. <gasps> Chest. Oh no, it's one of those. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Wow, they're staring right into my soul. She's not saying anything. I'm digging it, honestly. She was annoying and I ins installed a mod just to make her shut up because she was so annoying. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. She rocks. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. 
A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. You can hurt yourself, but don't damage the skull. <laughs> Levioso. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Begin with a basic cast. Perform a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yup. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak. Good. Now, Sorry, I didn't well mean to interrupt you. Done. Sorry. <laughs> Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. <laughs> this should be easy. Levioso. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a prepare. I do join my life. Oh, he's a basic. He's down. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. Thanks. You give as good as you get. <laughs> oh, she, the way she smiles, like. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Yes. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. We must. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. <laughs> Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Thanks, ma'am. I speak with Sebastian, everybody's favorite. <laughs> right? Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thanks. Oh, is it a werewolf? Or at least the werewolf that they created in the in the movies. That's the only thing that I always disliked about like the 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 way they design stuff. The the werewolves look like shite. <laughs> Yes, it looks like a mix of wolf and human, but nah. Eh. <laughs> Never like that look. Too little fur. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nope. Level two locked. Dang it. All right. Revelio. Was something up there? Oh. 
Her Vidian Black Skeleton, this large dragon skeleton that hangs in the Defense Against the Dark Art classroom, is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hackett after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in Eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. Which we already learned, so... Okay. Also, I think, if I'm not mistaken... Oh god, how to find things? Uh, uh... Uh, challenges? And then field guide, and then claim this, and then collect eight field guide pages. Okay, so six more. Quests. Complete two main story quests. Ah, not quite there yet. <laughs> it's Leviosa, yeah. But this is a different spell. Appearances. I could put on the glasses, but no thanks. Not that I don't like glasses, but... Not these. <laughs> and not the way they look in this game. Gear. Nothing selected. Ooh. Like leather clothes. Ooh. I already have outfits and stuff? Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. What's this? <gasps> I'm a peaky blinder. <laughs> peaky fucking blinder. A scarf. Yeah, I mean, why not? I don't know where all this is coming from. I already have that equipped. And this is the normal Hufflepuff outfit, right? Yeah. Alright. Quests. Good. Now let's talk to Sebastian. Nice work. <laughs> Happy jump. Whee! <laughs> I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. Enjoyed kicking it your ass, Sebastian. Good practice. practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. It actually was. I've had my share of wand combat. It was. Never used my wand in combat. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization sounds intriguing sounds suspicious intriguing exclusive and unsanctioned count me in excellent knew i was right about you <laughs> if you want to get the most out of your time at hogwarts you're going to need to break the rules now and then <gasps> whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library <gasps> You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby <laughs> near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Adios. Rebellion. Oh no, is that who I think it is? I'd hate to face Professor Hecket in a duel. It is. Rebellion. Anything else here? No. All right, let's go to the map and select the next quest. Uh, hang on, how do I do that? <laughs> we're doing dark arts? Okay. So we are, we're dark Hufflepuff. Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts make marked as this and discovered by exploring the world. These quests reward XP, but do not advance the main story. Yes, is good. Uh, library Annex, Charms Clause. I am not gonna... How do I... So, these are side quests, yeah? These little diamond shaped thingies. I'm not, as I said earlier, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna focus on the main story to unlock all the spells and stuff that I need to um, actually explore thoroughly. So, oh, this is now tracked, okay. How do I use this? Gosh, yeah, I have to relearn the controls, <laughs> I'm sorry. I hear you. Oh my god. Ah, there you go. 
gotcha. <laughs> Although Slytherins like to think this window is somehow a tribute to their house founder, it is actually a serpentine beast coiled around a tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary green man. A legendary green man. We actually thought I could look at the skeleton. Rebellion. But nope. Bing, 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 bing. Aha. We have to find them all so we get the XP. Augury skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix of augury. An intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Oh. Is that so? this way yeah we just started the game today so we are I don't know two hours in or less oh, I want to explore everything already I want to go everywhere ah the struggle we sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Oh, he already. Okay. Let's begin. Next class. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. I. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome now I have. to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, I everyone, can't pause. please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Dang it. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you Oof. even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Really? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio, nice. Yoink! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air after me ah <sighs> i've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery as i'm sure the quidditch players amongst us would agree hmm? <laughs> so what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test right <laughs> Oh god, this. <laughs> I forgot about this. 
So why don't we have our new students start us off? Hmm? I'll try. <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. The summoning charm Accu pulls the target closer to the caster. Hold RT and press the assigned button to cast Accu and pull the target closer. Release RT to cease casting the spell. Very good. Dang it. How many do I need to? Excellent control there. Uh, oh, 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 does this count? Splendid! Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. Very good, very well, nice. there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Oh boy. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Crystal. Okay. Nettie starts. Be sharp. Okay, I'm gonna try to knock hers down. Dang it. That's it. Watch this. I wanna mess her up. <laughs> could you could you could you go? Dang it! Brilliant! Here we go! Uh oh, is she knocking down mine now? Okay, hang on. Maybe I can still knock that one is down. How it's done. Okay, humble brag. I don't want to knock my own down though. Yeah. Remarkable. Nice! <laughs> that was nasty. I played dirty. But in the future, they're gonna do that. Hmm. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Bonk. Oh, God. Yes! Yes! I forgot about this bit, yeah, me too, for a bit, and now I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well done. Thanks. Don't knock my ball down. Bonk. <laughs> ah. There we go. <sighs> oh, her ball knocked down. She lost points. <laughs> Not 
Checking your typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. Don't fall! Don't fall! No! No, but I still win, right? Dang it! <laughs> oh no, I pulled too hard. Very good, both of you. Well done. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Hmm. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Yes, sir. Good game back there. Thanks. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. It took me it's weeks fine. to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm glad you understand. I'm holding my own. Hmm. I'm glad. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew mm -hmm. it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. How big is Wagadu? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. What does Wagadu look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Mm. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Wow, <laughs> sounds cool. Is magic the same? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. That's incredible. Surely the magic is weaker. That's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. True. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very... Dramatic. <laughs> Dramatic. Uh, thank you for telling me about Wagadu. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. No. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well... After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. <laughs> Can't imagine, yeah. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? <laughs> you did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Is that an Iron Maiden? Revelio. Do they just have a random Iron Maiden sitting here in the classroom? <laughs> okay. So if you're misbehaving in school, in, in the class, you're just like, in the Iron Maiden now for five minutes. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I don't see anything that I could interact with here. Hello. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. <laughs> bit insane. Hmm, a lock. 
All right. What is my next assignment? Uh, quests. Crossed wands, round one. Weasley after class. Do I have level two? Gosh, I don't remember stuff anymore, guys. Um, what? I surely have more than just... Hmm. Still have to figure everything out. Okay, it's tracked, so I just have to use this to get there again. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? <gasps> I am indeed, yes. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Oof. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. That's kind of you to say. It wasn't too challenging a lesson. I don't want to be cocky. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. <laughs> well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Good luck with that. Meet Professor Weasley in the Transfiguration classroom. All right, guys, I think this might be a good moment for me to take a break. So I'm just going to run a little bit further, closer to where I need to go. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Hi, kitty. I forgot that you can pet the cats. Sorry, sorry, coming through. Wait, it's a tell me. Oh, hmm. okay. It tell it's the icon is there, but you have to go here. We already unlocked this. So apparently I'm supposed to walk through the bushes, so we follow that instruction. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Ha. Huh. Alright, so we're gonna start this after a short break, guys. I'm so incredibly happy to be back in Hogwarts Legacy. I loved this game when I played it the first time, just like 10 months ago or so, but it came out in February. I'm super happy. I love this world and I love to be actually running around through Hogwarts. This is so gorgeous and kind of feels nostalgic because I kind of grew up in the movies and the books and stuff. So this is great. And I can't wait to continue, but now I need a short break. So I'll see you guys afterwards, okay? See you in a bit.